sort of a start, folks. I've always been fond of beach fishing. Like my head, it used to be all waves, now it's all beach. Quite seriously. Kids, older kids and everyone, let's look at the rig. An extended Bert Paternoster rig. A 50 centimetre drop from a sinker on a loop so you can change it according to the tide or the size of the surf. Going up to a 40 to 50 centimetre droplet coming off just underneath a swivel. And that is one of the most universal rigs around. Baited with a worm and a little red bead. I tell you what, folks, you can't do much better. It's strange around here, these folk. Down back in Melbourne, I'd take Lynn for a cup of tea at three in the afternoon. Laurie takes his wife worming. Now, this rod's working very, very hard. I borrowed this one from Steve Starling, and it's a slow rod. It's a decent sort of a brim again. By Jingo, have a look at that. Now, that is a serious brim. Sorry, folks, I nearly got actually taken out with the rip there. I'm going to beach this fish. Now, this is every bit of a kilo, and that's the way to beach him, folks. And I will show you how far away I am from that fish, and, and if he happens to go click like he is, the rod is used as a shock absorber, and then all of a sudden, he is out. Now, that is a magnificent looking brim. Now, that's as good as you'll see around these parts, folks, or any parts. Now, that little long shank hook is just in the lip, and it's as easy as that in taking it out. You can see these brim, they'll be out there munching up shells and looking for worms with those magnificent maulers of theirs. But what a magnificent brim. I tell you what, I've dropped him, but off you go, mate, you're free. Oh, I tell you what, he grabbed that almost the minute it touched the water. Usually, folks, we sit back and Noel can just have a little bit of a breather with the crew. This is not a big fish, but that just goes to show this beach is starting to work beautifully. I tell you what, a lot of people would have driven past this spot, but the Mackinalese, they live here. And let me get on to local knowledge. You can't beat local knowledge. When you're playing for Berrawillick up there on the Calder Highway, you kick with the breeze because it's worth 10 goals. When you come to the north coast or the north central coast of New South Wales, you stick with the Macanellis, because I tell you what, they know it like the back of their hand. This is a dart, the swallow of the sea, a lot of people call these. A beautiful fish, I call them a very, very wide queen fish, but a lot of people call them swallow tailed dart. But I tell you what, they're a member of the Trevally family, and isn't that a beautiful, beautiful fish? Tell you what, he's taking me into that gutter there, folks. I'm very, very impressed with this, and so should you people. I tell you, there's a lot of retirees and holiday makers come to this mid coast of New South Wales, about five hours up from Sydney by road. But I tell you what, with beach fishing like this, you can't go far wrong. Have a look at that. Another whiting on the top. Beautiful little fish. I'll just give him a kiss and throw him back. And another size brim. Look at that. The system's alive and well. If you use the right bait, you go at the time that the fish are feeding, which is now, you can't go wrong. And if you get onto the Macanellis, have a look at this. <laughs> Bob and Dolly Dyer. Bob and Dolly Macanelli. Give it a go. It's great stuff. 